Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Subnautica. We are going to continue on with just making a couple more items here at our base before I go for a little bit of a wander around in our beautiful, wonderful Betty No Mates suit over here. Now, I thought that Betty was a different colour. I thought Betty was red. We had a lovely, delicious red, and twice now she's come out a different colour. I think it's because I've pressed a button on the console when I've looked at her, and then it's, it's all changed it, and it's all gone pear-shaped, um, which is not ideal, really. But anyway, what we're going to do first is we're just going to look in here. Now, I've got a load of titanium here, which is quite handy. I could do with a bit of that, uh, so I'll take a few of those. I'm going to leave the rest for a minute. I'm not going to worry about the rest. We're going to head over to this one and over to the Frith Marine. And we're going to jump inside and we're going to get a couple of bits. I need a... And he's quite finished. Um, I need a piece of copper. And our copper is very, very valuable. We don't have very much. I need a piece of gold. And in there, no, I don't want that. And in there, uh, yes, I want a table coral sample as well. So we can take that, and then I can scramble down the ladder down here. And then I can scramble out here, like this. And then I can head over this way. So, uh, too close to this building over here, we have the racket coming from that one. See, you can hear it there. Now, if I go there, you can still hear it. If I go there, you can still hear it. Ooh. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, I forgot about the fluid intake. Here it seems to be about right. It's off of this one here that I want to put this scanner room. And that then is going to be as close as we're going to get to any point uh, or an anything else being built close to that one. And it was pointed out that I seem to spend, you know, I've... I've, I've went a long way and used up a lot of resources to put this one all the way out here. Why isn't that one got a, a, a door between the two? Uh, you know, I'm not actually sure, but it, it doesn't matter because what we'll do is we'll deconstruct this one like this, and then what we'll do is we will make an eye shape there. I need three titanium for that one, and we'll put that one in there. So it doesn't automatically turn into an eye shape, but it does put that out like that. So there we go. So now my base health strength is 10. So then I want to come over to here and I want to build a scanner room, which is 5 titanium, 2 copper, gold, and a table coral, which is perfect. So I'll bring that one to there. Now, last time we had it... Oh, yeah, it's that way around. It's got to be that way around so that you can fit into it. Uh, there, yes. Okay, so we'll put that one in there. And then we've got our scanner room nicely built. Go on, keep going, keep going. Copper, gold, and a table coral sample. The last little bit. There we go. Scanner room. Perfect. Right, so we've got the scanner room there ready and waiting to go. So we'll be able to scan some stuff. I think I can take a, a piece out the end there. I'm not worried about that. What we're going to be scanning for, one of the first things that we're going to be scanning for, is a load of quartz. I'd like quartz so I can stick some windows into this place. But before we do that, let's go in here. I would also like to, um, uh, what, what else did I want to do? I want to take Betty and we want to go for a little wander and see what we can find in the brine down there because there's a whole load of brine down there below us. And we, we can't really go in there with us because it hurts. But if we're inside Betty, then we can do it. So that's what we're going to do as soon as I've gotten, I'm going to set the scanner going and then we'll be able to run around for quartz and we'll be able to find all sorts of things. Now that we've got our scanner room built, the next thing that we can do... Actually, uh, do I have the stuff on me? I was just looking at the nickel ore um, thingy there. It's lead and titanium that I got there. I can't remember what the upgrades are. Let's go and take a look at the scan... We can put the scanner room going anyway, because we don't... Welcome have... aboard, Captain. We don't have to have upgrades in order for it to be working. So we come through into here. Right, there is our up there's the fabricator there. So the camera drones, uh, computer chips and glass. Scanner room, HUD chip. We don't need that one because unless... Do we? No, I don't think... Scanner room. So we don't need that one either. Scanner room range upgrade. Magatite copper ore. That's all we need on there. And then um, speed upgrade. That's his speed of scanner room. I don't think we really need to worry about the speed upgrade, to be honest. So we've got diamond heat area quartz. Quartz is what we want to look for first. So we send a scan out for the quartz, and that can start hunting. 
then we'll be able to go and just have a little swim around and grab some quartz. And I also... Oh, wrong way. I want to go out this way. Go straight through there. There we go. Exit the base. And what have I got on me? What? I've got quartz. i got one titanium. I could do with a couple more because I think that I can put a hatch on the back of the scanner room, which might actually be quite handy. I want one more. I want one more. Just, just one. That's all I need. So open the storage there. If I grab that one. And then we go up over this way, like this. I think I can put a hatch on the back end of the room over here. I can't put it on the side walls. I think I can put one on the back there. Yes, I can. I can put a hatch on there. Do I want to? Actually, I don't think I do. What I think I want to do is I want to put a T. Do I want to? Yes, I do. I'm just going to dump a hatch straight on the end of it like that. There. So it's really easy to get into the base. There we go. Strength is now 7.1. That's fine. So we can easily get straight into the scanner room, which is going to make life a little bit more simple for us. We're going to get some quartz so that we're able to do some upgrades. Um, uh, some windows. I want to make some windows. I don't think it's very easy to get copper around here. I think copper is going to be one thing that is a little bit more hard to come by in the depths. I think we're going to have to go to the shallows for that. Now we have things screeching in the darkness which is ne never really good I'm always a little bit cautious about things screeching in the darkness the quartz is further down ah here we go it's, it's on the walls we've got one there and we've got another one down there so I c I've got enough to make a whole load of windows I got loads of rubies I don't need to worry about rubies and I might go and get another uranite in a minute what's this <gasps> Oh, nickel ore. Ideal. Okay, we grab one of those. Now, I did already find one limestone deposit all the way down here. And I figure that if we find one limestone deposit, there will be more. And if we can find more limestone deposits... See, there's quartz there. It's underneath the wave, uh, underneath the, the brine. That's no good to me. Um, but yeah, if we can find more of them, more limestone, uh, we should be able to get more... Oh, there's loads of quartz over here. This might be out of range. I will go into the Frith Marine in a minute and see if we can... Uh, well, I'll pick up the, the um, copper and some magnetite and we'll make some range upgrades. And we should also be able to get limestone. There, see, there's a limestone. I'm going to leave that one because that should be able to get the... Um, should be enough for the um, the thingy over here, the camera over here. I don't want to go in there yet. I want to get some copper. And then when I've got the copper... At, yeah, I want a, a copper and magnetite to make these range upgrades. Let's go up here. I don't think there's any downstairs. It's just through here into this one. Right, there's the copper. One, two, three. And there's a magnetite. So I've, got, I've only got one on me. No matter there. Let's go into this one. Uh, nothing in there. What about you? Oh, no, there was another magnetite back there. There's, cop there's more copper. There was a mag uh, uh, several magnetites. Right, one, two, three. Well, I go for a speed. No, I won't. I'll just leave it. We, we, we're quite happy to have it like this. So uh, let's get one more copper. There we go. So there is four upgrades that are all on range. So I'll be able to just have a massive range on this one. I don't need any other upgrades, I don't think. Let's go racing along here. And straight into there. And I like this. Being able to jump in onto this side. So we'll stop the scanning, and now we've got crystalline sulfur, data box, nice, diamond, gel sac, heat area, limestone chunk, nickel ore, quartz, ruby, shale, titanium. We've actually got titanium that we can find. This is brilliant. So we've got everything that we could possibly want here. What do I want to find first? Um, yeah, I don't actually know what I want to find first. I mean, we want to... Nickel, I guess. Nick, nickel is kind of important. We need that for various different upgrades, don't we? So we've got a nickel ore over there. Let's go into this one. And I want to make some of these. i make four of these. There's one. Well, I guess four. Uh, the speed upgrade, silver and gold. Three. No, you know what? We'll go for four of these. We'll, we'll just do four of these and go maximum range rather than... We won't worry about the speed thing. Uh, so let's come out of there and then go into this one and then one, two, three, four. So we've got four range upgrades on here now. Look at this. Okay. Um, wow. 
That is seriously wow. That is look look at this. This is brilliant. So this is where we are. That's that's us right there. That little dot right there. And well, that's actually our cameras, I think. Um, and then we've got nickel ores coming on over this way, but it's sort of extending out along the cave. But then it moves back through this cave, and it moves right up upstairs as well. So we've got all of that way up there. That's a long way up. There's not a great deal of nickel ore around. It is limited, the nickel ore. We will have to see if we can... But this is what we need. We need nickel ore, and we're also going to need some titanium as well. But let's go down here first. So where is this nickel? How far... Well, we got one up there. That one, it should just be right on the side. Yes, there it is. Clinging to the side. I'm thinking that if I leave one that is reasonably close by, then it's got something to sort of latch onto um, for when it's deciding what it should scan. I think that's kind of how it works. So if I leave one up there on the cliff, we'll grab this one. If I leave one up there, that should be all right. And I got three nickel ore at the moment. So what was it that we wanted to make? It was upgrades, wasn't it? It was depth upgrades for the Seabot was the, the most important bits that we were going for to start with. Uh, we got that depth module there, which is plastic. We've already got one of those, though. Uh, I need a um, modification station to make the next ones. There, I need plasteel and nickel ore times three. And this one, I need plasteel and I need kyanite. The problem is we don't know how to make kyanite yet. So I'm going to need to get the crystalline sulfur stuff. That one up there I'll leave. Uh, I need crystalline sulfur. We're going to need a few other bits and pieces as well that we'll go and look for. Oh, no, that's that's going through into a different place. Where, where How do I get to that? Uh, I'm not even sure how I get to that piece. These bits here should be easy enough. Yeah, there they are. The, these are just lying down here on the cliff top. So grab that one. And that one. This screeching that is going on in the background here is somewhat horrifying and somewhat is sort of at the same time horrifying and quite pleasant um it's a strange combination it is it's definitely a strange combination of horrifying and pleasant uh but it's it's okay we don't mind it let's just come whizzing over here we've got more um quartz back there right so we've, we've got plenty of uh, plenty of nickel now Next, I think we want to get some titanium. We could do with a bit more of that. We're going to have to be able to swim around it. I think it's going to be long distance traveling with the... Um, yeah, see, I've got right there, I've got limestone. There's shale, and there's also sandstone outcrops as well that we're going to be wanting to look for. So let's scramble up here. And titanium is going to be one. We're going to want to make a modification station. So let me just see what I need to build one of those. A uh, that is down here, I think. There we go. Exterior grow bed would probably be useful. Alien containment might be handy. Modification station, lead, diamond, titanium, and a computer chip. A computer chip is two copper. And we can make that. We can go and make that now, and then we can bring it back and we can put it in here. So I'm gonna turn off the nickel ore. We've got two of two at the moment. Uranite, titanium, shale, uh, nickel ore crystalline sulfur I'm thinking if I go and get that I can scan it and that might actually unlock some more recipes so I will start searching for the crystalline sulfur we're gonna run over to the oh, there's some right down there that's handy okay we're gonna we're gonna just run over to Frith Marine over here we're gonna jump inside I already have one advanced wiring kit there I don't actually need it for this though, not this this particular task. What I do want is I've got the two copper, which I no I haven't. I've got one copper. I've now got the two copper that I'm going to need. It's the tabletop coral. Uh, do I have any more of that left? That is see that see I I brought some with me, but I don't know if I brought enough. We may not have enough of the table coral. None there. I got gold and silver. I got all sorts of specials in it. Oh, yes, we do. We've got six left. Right, so now we've got five left. Uh, that should be everything. I need a computer chip. The computer chip is a very important uh, uh, part of this. You look in here. Computer chip there. It, oh, and I had two table coral samples. Right, so if I make a copper wire a minute, I'll have to go and grab another table coral. Uh, we'll go over to there, and then we'll scramble down a minute. There's one on the end locker here. Take that one. Back up again. 
We'll get there eventually. We will get there eventually. So I want that one and there and then computer chip. Right, so we've got that bit. Now I need to make the modification station, which is there. Uh, interior pieces, interior modules, that one. I need one titanium. That is all. Okay, one titanium I can do. I think I've got some in here. If I haven't, I've got some downstairs on um, the uh, Betty no mates. Betty has definitely got some. Let's go out to here. She's still got some in her backpack. Right, we go whizzing along here. I'll put the modification station in this end of the thing. She's changing colour constantly. I swear she is. Every time I look at it, she's a different colour. Right, we want one more titanium. Is it just one titanium? Honestly can't remember now. Right, uh, yes it is, just one titanium. And we won't worry about any of the others just for a second, so let's go into here. You know I could also build a... Uh, we'll put that one. I could build some cabinets as well. I'm not going to worry about that for a minute, though. Let's go there. Modification. And let's put that one about there, I think. Perfect. So now we've got the modification station, we can go and get the Cyclops upgrade. Here we go. Now we're talking fin upgrades, propulsion, Cyclops upgrades right there. Plasteel. Cyclops depth module mark one. And then um, more plasteel and kyanite. So plasteel, I've got the titanium back home that we could actually use for this. It's it's a bit of a trip though, because the only way that I can really do that any kind of speed is if I... See, the Frith Marine can stay there and we'll be able to find our way through without too much trouble. So there's the cave entrance. So I've got to go 500 meters that way. And then i got to go that way, another 900. And it's all got to be using this one which is going to take us a little while, but, I mean, we do have infinite power with it. So we, we do have that side to it. It's infinite power. And then if I build a moon pool here, i got somewhere to store one of them. And the moon pool is two titanium ingots, lubricant, and lead. That's not a problem because I'm the reason we want to go back is to get the titanium ingots. So if we're going to leave this here. I know I said I was going to go for a little trip. Uh, actually, I should do that first. We'll do, we'll do the little trip first. That's what we're going to do. I said I was going to do it, so I'm, I'm going to do it. Welcome aboard, Captain. I like that. I like that little welcome aboard, Captain. It, it sounds like somebody It sounds like somebody who's done a lot of um, films, and I cannot quite put my finger on the name at the moment. Oh, well. Right, let's jump down here. I love the way that you can just jump with this thing, and it doesn't hurt it at all. You can just go where you want. Now, of course, we've got to find out if I can actually go into here with it. The crystalline sulfur is all underwater. Underwater? Un un under the brine. Here we go. Is it going to hurt? Please don't hurt. It doesn't hurt. It does not hurt at all. We are able to scroll, uh, to scroll, to stroll, stroll around here. Without any problems at all. This is wonderful. Here it is. I can't actually do anything with it because I've got the wrong upgrade on at the moment, which is not very useful. Um, I need to I, I, I need to remove one of my upgrades, and I'm not sure which one to remove. I'm, I'm going to have to climb up out in order to remove it. So let's go up here. If I can go forward, and I don't think I need the drill to do this, so let's just stop there a second and we'll climb out, and then I want to go over this side, I think. Is it? Is it? Nope, that's that's bet. Now she's red. She's come back to red. I reckon that we've just got one of those ones that like fluctuates through all the different colours. Grappling arm and drill. I'm going to remove the drill. And I'm going to keep the grappling arm because I think it might be useful. Uh, let's go up. End of the prawn. Right, now I can pick this stuff up. I'm going to have to pick one up, I think, and drop it on the ground so that I can scan the um, sulphur. It's got to be the it's going to be the only way that I can do it, surely. But I, I I can at least pick it up. We've got some of this. I don't. I'm not going to need very much of this. Don't need very much at all. Which is a good job, really, because there's not very much under here. Then grab these bits over here. There we go. Grab you. What's over this way? Uh. I'm going to leave that end because I think there was something down there, if I remember correctly. And I don't really want to get into a scrap just at the moment. I want to come over here. Get that one. I won. Actually, let's see. Let's see. If I go up here, 
How bad does it hurt? This is, this is... Okay, it hurts a lot. It hurts a great deal being under there. Um, and it continues to hurt for some time after until I get out of here with the prawn. Okay, well that's handy to know. If I climb in here with the prawn suit on, it continues to hurt for quite a bit after I have left the area. And I have now lost most of my health, um, which really wasn't a good way to do things. So let's just take a look. Have I got... I, I, I don't have anything for uh, health there. So let me climb out a minute and then access the upgrades. And we'll put the... Why do I... I don't even need the driller arm. I've got the, I've got the arm that I need. If we go back in here. It was... It's this arm. It's, it's the other arm that I wanted. It's this one. This is the one that I want and need at the moment. I don't need the other one at all. I just got to hold this one like this till I'm recharged. And then I can start climbing up again. Up here. And then launch myself over there. In we go. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Keep hold of that one so that it keeps moving. Like that. And let myself recharge. And then move again. And it's the jump jet upgrades that I want for this one. In particular, I want jump jet upgrades. We'll go over there. Um, I'm gonna just stand here a minute, hovering in the middle of it, in the middle of nowhere. And there we go. Right, so we can go on a little bit further. Now, people have said that I want to be taking the Frith Marine along like a, a mobile base, and I do intend to do that. But I, I quite like the idea of having Billy back here as well, because Billy will be able to run around and explore different areas quite easily. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave this one here. I think. So let me do that. Open storage. Take the crystalline sulfurs, and we... Uh, I've only got one titanium left. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll just take that. Um, yeah, if I have uh, Billy taken with me... Um, and, yeah, if we got Billy no mates here as well, and we've got a moon pool for him to dock in, we've got uh, Betty here. I could have Billy, and I could sail him up the river for short distance, and then we can move the main Frith Marine later on when we want to. Um... Or I could just, like, put it all in together. Just have that one and not worry about Billy. Billy can stay here at this base. And I, I don't know. I know that we got lots of titanium back in the other base. Anyway, I, I'm, 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 I'm standing and talking. That's just boring. Right, let's just do that a minute. Because what I want to do is I want to drop that down so that I can scan it. Crystalline sulfur. Scan. There we go. Right, geological data. Is it going to unlock anything else? Uh, there we go. Essential for advanced fabrication. Right. Uh, it doesn't give me any new recipes, though, I don't think, does it? It's a bit of a shame. Oh, well. Right, let's grab that one. And then we head back up here. What else? Oh, I know what we want to do. We want... Uh, so, I, I'm sort of now thinking twice about going away, but I know that we've got the titanium ingots, which would be incredibly handy if we've got those to use. Uh, there is a data box somewhere nearby. That's good. That's handy to know, actually. We won't look for that one yet. I've not got a full section on here, but no, titanium is where I want to go. I'm going to scan out some... There's, there's titanium down there already. All right. We'll scan out some titanium, and we're going to... I'm going to leave that one running a minute. Ooh. Got a big jellyfish right there. So there's titanium down there. And, yeah, we'll, we'll scan that out so that we've got a bit more... Uh, maybe we'll be able to just build a moon pool anyway, and that would be quite handy for, um, like, storing things at base. Well, I don't really know. I'm, at, at this point in time, I think the most important thing is to build the depth upgrade modules for this one. If we can get those and the depth upgrade modules for the prawn suit, I think that's sort of going to be the most important thing um, for advancement at the moment. So let's put all of this stuff in here. Ruby, all the nickel ores there. I've got glass that I'm keeping hold of and then there's a titanium there. Right. Now, you, I need this. So let's just have that one a minute. There we go. I forgot to put the drill back, back on. Let me have a quick bite to eat again. Right, I've had a quick bite to eat. Now, let's have a look around. It would appear the titanium is limited around here. So we may end up having to go back to our base after all. Is that a titanium... Well, well it's, it's underneath the whole area there. But it does not look like we've got 
much in the way of titanium at all, so I might have to go and jump in, well, just sail back with this one and get titanium from the surface. That may be the only way, because, I mean, look, you look here, we got one there, and we're scanning all the way along the caves and everywhere else. We've got a huge range on this scanner, and it's not getting it, it's not picking it up anywhere. We got nothing. We got absolutely... So I was actually really lucky to find the titanium that I did. Right. As we've only got that, and I'm going to need quite a bit of titanium, we've got plasteel back at the main base. I am going to go back to the cave entrance with this one. We're going to just sail right through, and then we're going to get up onto the surface. The only issue is, do I have enough oxygen to do it? This is the only issue that I've got, is I may not have the oxygen to get all the way up to the surface. I think I should. I don't see any reason why I won't. Um, I can go through here. I've got the, the crab squiddies over there, which I don't really need to worry about. I can just sort of go straight past them. They do they do make a little bit of a fuss, but... Yeah, every... every I don't know what else it was. Oh, it was. It was just them. Let's just keep moving. There's home. And I can hear things in the darkness. I'm 200 meters below the surface, so I do need to get up to the surface. So that I've got oxygen. Oxygen is handy. Very, very useful around here. So we'll just keep going. And what is that? Oh, I've come up underneath the main island. That's where I've come up. I'm actually under the main island. I had no idea. I suppose I should have realised, but uh, yeah, at the same time, I still had no idea. So we're going to go whizzing along here. I could actually just leave Billy No Mates on the surface near the main island. Um, it would be a lot easier to retrieve later on because we can't put two things in... It is actually still swimming, isn't it? We can't put two things... It, yeah, it is still swimming along. Uh, we can't put two items in the Frith Marine, so in order to get Billy No Mates back home again, it's going to take a bit. So I could leave him on the surface near the island. He's easy to go and find if I should need him, and he's not going to be in danger of disappearing or like uh, clipping under the ground either. Um, and that way, I've got the sort of the slow-moving permanent submarine base to move up through the area underneath, which is kind of what we wanted. I like this idea. Welcome aboard, Captain. We're home again. Safe and sound. Here we go. Now then, what did I want? You know, it probably wouldn't hurt to take a med kit. I've got a few bits of titanium along the way. I just figured that would probably be handy. So I will very quickly do this. Some titanium loose would actually be quite good. So I'm going to leave this titanium that we got loose and uh, rather than make it into more titanium ingots. But I'll take all the titanium ingots that we've got. I'm going to make some glass. Just to condense those down a bit. And I also picked up a stalker tooth on the way through. I happened to find one. Uh, so I'm going to make an enameled glass. I think there's a couple of enameled glass that we want. Now we've got loads of quartz down there. So I'll turn all of the quartz we got into glass. And I think I may have another stalker tooth kicking around. We've also got a little bit of lithium in some of the chests, so I'm going to make a, another... Well, I'll make a couple of the plasteel ingots that we're going to need. Shall I make all of the plasteel ingots that we're going to need? Or the ones that I can. I think that's all that I can make, though. Uh, there, we've got one titanium ingot. We've got two plasteel ingots. I've got several titaniums. Got some glass, and I've got one enameled glass. I don't have another stalker tooth, so I can't make another one of those. And we are full. That is everything that I can take with me at the moment. I'm not too concerned. I mean, it's mostly we wanted these the, the plasteel ingots because we want to be able to do these upgrades. Uh, it's a depth upgrade. Well, actually, you know, we, we might want more than that. Now that I think about this, because, I mean, we've got the depth module Mark 1 there. Seamoth Mark 1. Uh, prawn suit there. Plaz steel times one, nickel ore times three, and a ruby. Well, we got that back there, and we now got this. Uh, there we go. So prawn suit two, titanium, lithium, and kyanite. And then we've already done that one. This one here, we got the plaz steel. This one we want a plaz steel, and that one doesn't need one. So we want three plaz steel. I think we're all right for plaz steel then, because I got one two there. 
You know, I think we're all right. It's just the lithium, and lithium's not actually that difficult to find. We should be able to... We could always e even just go up to the island directly above the cave, and we can get lithium up there, I'm sure of it. There's there's always going to be ways to find... The, the, there is always going to be ways to find it, and I haven't got any lithium here anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Right, so we've got a little bit of titanium. We're good. We're good to go. I think we're good to go. So if we go into this one, we're going to leave this one, like I said, up near the island. I don't think we actually want to take it with us down into the cave. I see no... Online. Yeah, there's no real um, Cyclops cave entrance. Yeah, there's no real advantage to leaving it actually at the cave entrance. So we'll leave this one over near the island. I uh, Maybe around the back of the island or something like that. But yeah, it does seem prudent to leave it over there rather than anywhere else. If you look at the island under the water, you can see, oh, you can see it above the water as well now. Um, it wasn't actually showing up above the water. It was only showing up below the water. As soon as you went above the water, the island kind of vanished. So the cave entrance is around there. So we'll go around this side of the island. And then we're going to abandon Billy. Billy No Mates is going to be just left all on his own, floating in the ocean with no friends. Friendless and alone. Poor Billy. There is Billy. All alone. Beside the island right here. He's, he's just below the waves. I'm hoping he is going to be safe. We've got the, the Aurora is way over there. So I'm hoping that that is a safe place for him. And we are going to head down this way. We've got the cave entrance just down here. And it's actually quite a bit below that point. There is that over there, which is the Cyclops cave entrance. Either or, it doesn't matter. We need to get into the cave. And once we're into the cave, we can then go racing back towards our base. And we should have absolutely everything that we could possibly want in order to make this all work. Um... Right, so yeah, the Cyclops cave entrance there. I just want to keep, yeah, I just need to keep heading downwards here, really. There we go, that's where I want to go. That's the entrance right there, it's through that little hole there. If I can squeeze in through there, everything that we want is, oh, there's titanium over there. Ah, oh, I see. I've got another titanium. I will grab that one. Get that. Uh, copper. I, I didn't think about that, did I? My, my inventory is full, so I'm not going to grab anything at all. So what I'll do is I'll just keep go sailing over here. We've got two titanium in this entire expanse. It's been running continuously, and all we've found is two titanium. That's pretty poor, really. Where are they? Right, we've got... Oh, we've got um, heat sources here. That's useful. So we'll be able to, we don't actually need to worry about that, though. It's, it's not something that we're going to be using. There's a crab squiddy over there, which I can ignore. Apparently, if you do battle, you do epic battle with these things, um, using a knife, uh, they run away from you. Which is something I wanted to find out. So here you go. Do that, and he runs away from you. Nice! They're very nervous. If you stab them with a knife, they don't like it. I mean, I can't say that I blame them, to be honest. If, if, if somebody was to stab me with a knife, I'd probably get a little bit twitchy about that. But uh, as, as would most people. As would most people. Now, where is that piece of titanium? That is... Oh, we've got a deposit up here. So in order to get... Oh, we can come straight down here. I've got to be careful of my oxygen going into caves. Uh, oh, I see. Right, well, we can just go straight up the cliff. That would be fairly easy. And then there's a titanium down below us. Uh, what did I want to do? I want to go... Actually, I want to go into this one. If I remove the depth module, how deep is... Am I going to be below crush depth on this one? Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. I'm a little bit curious about this. Am I below crush depth if I remove the, um, the, the module that is already got? So there is this one. We've got uh, Cyclops Depth Module 1. Pretty sure we've already got that one fitted. Because we got one for free, didn't we? Maybe we didn't. Yes, we did. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. Uh, right, well, I don't have the space to remove it at the moment. I'm a little bit concerned that uh, we may be below crush depth at 582 meters. Hmm. I didn't actually think about that, did I? Didn't think this through. Right, let's just take that out of there, just a, just a second. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to remove the module and then we'll very quickly put it back again. Morning. Maximum depth reached. Hull yeah. Damage imminent. Yeah. Right. Um, depth is 500 meters. 
So I've either got to make another module, or I've got to put a upgrade modification station right here, and then do it like there. Maybe I could do it like that. Maybe I can do this really quickly so that I don't have to worry about it. This this is um this this may be a questionable way of doing this because we're 80 meters below crush depth. I don't know how long crush depth lasts for and what happens when crush depth is exceeded. This is something this, this is a risky procedure. It's going to be the last procedure that we do for this episode though. If it works, excellent. If it doesn't, then not so good. Right, I need to deconstruct you. Lead, diamond, titanium. And then the um, the chip. So we take that. Matter here. And I've got to put it into that one over there. So we're coming rising over this way. i got to make sure that I've got the materials ready so that I can build it. And then I can whip out that one and I can drop it in. Is this going to work? I don't know if we're going to have the time to do this. It's probably not the best place to be doing something like this. This is probably actually a really, really stupid idea. But... As you know, I'm very good at stupid ideas. What was that? It was a big fish hitting me. Right. Uh, modification station. There. I can put it right there. It fits. We drop that one in there. There we go. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to do that. Let's put that back together. There we go. Right. Uh, so we want Cyclops upgrade there. I need the three nickel ore. That's what I need. Let's go and get nickel ore. Did I, uh, did I put them in this one? I think I left them here. Nope. I put them in this one. Uh, nope. I put them in this one. Uh, yes. Excellent. One, two, three. I've got the plasteel. I've got that. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, Frithgar is about to embark on possibly his most stupid activity yet. Take that one. And then here, here, here. Make it, make it, make it, make it. Uh, uh, click. There. Go on to here. And click. Done it. Crush depth now 1300 meters. I gotta do that again yet though. Right, energy 696, health 1482. Oh, health is increasing. Health is going back up again. Huh, that's okay. Right, my heart was actually racing quite a bit there. Uh, so we got this one here. I need kyanite. Now, I don't know how to make kyanite at the moment. What do I need for the exosuit upgrade here? Again, I need kyanite. So we need to be able to make kyanite for our next episode, and I don't currently know how to do that, so that is on our next to-do list. Uh, let me get rid of some of this stuff now. We'll put that one and that one in there, and then we'll put this over here. The rest of it in here for a minute. Just stash it away so that it's safe. Enamel glass as well. Perfect. Right. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.